Hello fishing buddies and welcome to my quick preview and first impression of the Ron Thompson Accelerator Beachcaster Rod. Here we have the Ron Thompson Accelerator Beach Caster Rod. It comes equipped with BCMN AG guides, which has the alkanite rings and not a BCKWAG guide as the tag is suggesting. The difference is that K guides, like the ones on the Akios Hellraiser rods, are forward sloping while the BCMN AG guides on this RT Accelerator Beachcast rod is upright, as can be seen here. Now for the tip guide, I can't be 100% sure, but it looks like a Fuji BCFAT tip, which is a multi-purpose tip with alkanite ring. As for the ring size, well, it is big enough to let a Trident Tackle Thermalink to pass through, no problem. I like the general look of this rod, especially with the carbon fiber fish scale motif and the black and red metallic whippings. This is rated to cast 4 to 8 ounces and is 13.6 feet or 4.08 meters long. It comes as a two piece rod with a butt section measuring short of 78.25 inches and the upper section measuring a little over 84.25 inches, just a little over 7 feet. The spigot is almost 5.5 inches long with almost an inch left exposed when the rod is assembled. An allowance as spigots do tend to wear down during assembly and disassembly. The diameter of the blank just behind the tip guide measures 3.46 millimeters. The bottom section of the blank right after the rubber butt cap measures 28.74 millimeters while the top of the shrink wrap measures 27.28 millimeters in diameter. The sliding reel seat can only be securely positioned as low as 17 inches up to just about 40.5 inches, which is above the rubber shrink wrap. The top section weighs somewhere between 252 to 253 grams and with the bottom section and the sliding reel seat, a total of 971 grams. Not a lot of cons for this rod, just a few air bubbles on the finish, which is all cosmetics and should not really affect the rod's performance, and the sliding reel seat not really being able to slide down to the really low position. But this is nothing a good quality coaster couldn't fix. Overall, without having a cast yet, I am really impressed, really looking forward to cast this rod out. If you found this video informative, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for future fishing stuff related reviews as well as an upcoming full review of this rod. Thanks for watching and happy fishing.